Good afternoon. This is Open Snow Meteorologist Alan Smith with your powder forecast for Wednesday, December 3rd, 2025. It's been a slow start to ski season across the West this year after an unusually warm and dry November. But the good news is winter is showing signs of waking up across the Rockies this week as we have a significant storm cycle setting up over the next several days from Wednesday to Sunday that's going to bring heavy snow accumulations to parts of the central and northern Rockies and parts of the Pacific Northwest. Our first appetizer storm is happening across the southern Rockies on Wednesday. This is in Telluride, Colorado, what we're looking at currently, where it's snowing heavily, and they've already picked up about a foot of snow, according to the snow state cam. So that's that's great news, and let's hopefully we can see more of that in the future in the near future. So if we look at the upper level pattern right now, we can see in the red color, this is a ridge, a strong ridge of high pressure setting up over the West Coast. In fact, this has been in place for quite a while now. It's been acting as a blocking pattern for stronger Pacific storm systems to move into the Western US. We have had some storms that have managed to slide over the top of this ridge and dip down the east side, such as what's happening in southern Colorado and over the four corners here on Wednesday. As we head over into the next five days, this ridge is gradually going to weaken, and we're going to start to see stronger storms develop in the Gulf of Alaska and track from northwest to southeast into the Rockies. So this is a favorable pattern for snowfall across the Rockies in particular, but the ridge will hold in place over California and Oregon, where it's not going to be a favorable fat pattern for snowfall in these areas, unfortunately. If we take a look at upper level winds, this also can show that the pattern heading into the weekend well. We can see a strong jet stream setting up across the Pacific Northwest and pushing into the central Rockies into the weekend. This is going to open the door for significant energy and moisture to reach the western U.S. and western Canada heading into the weekend. It's, and it's going to be a good pattern set up for significant snowfall. Next, let's take a look at 700 millibar relative humidity, which is equivalent to about 10,000 feet in the atmosphere. This is a good level to look at for moisture and snowfall potential across the interior western mountain ranges as it's roughly corresponded to the elevations that we see in these areas. So if we look over the next five days and put this in motion, we can see higher relative humidity air moving from northwest to southeast across the northwest and the Rockies. So this is a favorable pattern for snowfall across these areas. Here is a snowfall map that takes us out through Monday morning, December 7th. And as we can see, we're expecting quite a bit of snow across throughout the Rockies, really, and across parts of the Pacific Northwest as well. Many areas are looking at one to two feet of snow during this period, and some areas could even see two to three feet of snow. Some areas that are favored for the highest accumulations in this pattern include the Tetons in Wyoming, the Wasatch in Utah, uh, portions of northern Colorado, especially around Steamboat, and select portions of Montana and interior of Canada as well. Next, let's go through a few ski areas and look at our snowfall range charts, which is basically showing individual models that we put in our blend. And we're looking at these individual models to get a range of snowfall possibilities using our own snow liquid ratio conversion. So first, this is Revelstoke that we're taking a look at. We can see Consistent snowfall over the next several days really ramping up quite a bit as we head into Saturday and Sunday. So the blue bars are indicative of percent chances of snow over each of these corresponding periods. We could see over the next five days, we're looking at one to two feet of snow at Revelstoke. And in my experience with Revelstoke and these type of patterns, they're probably going to end up in the higher end of the range. So this is a good, good looking storm cycle there. Next, we'll head to Big Sky, Montana, where we're also looking at a good cycle. Uh, similar snowfall amounts here. One to, most models are in the one to two feet range. We do see a bit more variability in the model projection, so that adds a little bit of uncertainty to the forecast. But overall, this northwest flow pattern is a very favorable setup for Big Sky. Also, that's the case for much of Montana. Bridger Bowl, Whitefish can also do very well in this pattern. Another thing I want to take a look at here is 
snow liquid ratios this is a good thing to look at in this forecast range chart because it gives an idea of snow quality and trends during the storm cycle so what we see is interesting here if you look in the early part of the cycle we have uh, fluff starting out which means low density powder that means temperatures start out cold so you get that really low density blower pal but then as we get further out into time we can see snow liquid ratios decrease which means that temperatures are warming up and the snow starts to get a bit denser over time as warmer air moves in but then right around the end of the cycle on saturday night early sunday we do see some colder air arrive so the snow gets slightly more fluffy once that happens okay next let's take a look at grand targhee wyoming which might end up being the most favored spot in the entire western north america as far as ski resorts go um, this northwest flow pattern is just a, it's a really money setup for the west side of the tetons and targi most model projections are have 20 to 40 inches over the next five days and that's great news as they are opening up for the season on friday after having a delayed start due to the lack of snow in november so hopefully this is going to get things going there Next, let's head into the Wasatch Range in Utah. This is Snowbird, Utah. We're also looking at a significant cycle there as well. And similar to Targi, Snowbird and other ski resorts in the Wasatch Range are opening up this weekend. So this is good timing on this storm and will hopefully be a good base setting storm to get some terrain open there. We do see a wide variety of model projections here. Most are in the 10 to 30 inch range. Our blended average is right around two feet and this is a very favorable pattern for the wasatch so i would lean toward the higher end of these projections for what we could expect all right next let's head to steamboat colorado this is also going to be a favorite spot in this pattern most models are in the 15 to 30 inch range for the cycle over the next five days great news as early season conditions will start to improve throughout northern throughout Colorado in general, when you factor in the Southern Colorado storm we're having today. Also, let's take a look at Vail, where most of our models in our blend are projecting anywhere from one to two feet over the next five days. One last area I wanna take a look at before we sign off for the day is Mount Baker up in Washington. So the Pacific Northwest is really gonna be in a borderline situation in this weather pattern. We do have storms coming, which is good but temperatures are going to be right on the edge and snow levels are going to be a concern as a result so it really just any small shifts in temperatures could lead to rain issues at times in the ski areas but if temperatures are just cold enough we could see heavy wet snow and mount baker we could see the uncertainty here in the snowfall range chart so lower end projections have 10 inches or less but then higher end projections have 50 inches so <laughs> you could say that's a forecast of 10 to 50 inches which sounds kind of ridiculous but when you factor in how close of a call it is with temperatures and snow levels it's it, it makes sense in this situation so next let's take a look at our snow level forecast range chart here we can see these are individual snow level projections from models and we can see the black lines indicating the summit and the base of mount baker so early on in this cycle higher snow levels approaching the summit at times then as we get into saturday we see lower snow levels dipping closer to the base but then as we head into sunday we see a wide range of snow level projections some are keeping snow levels near the base other have it rising up to mid mountains so that really makes for a tough call here. I think the one safe thing we could say is that whatever snow does fall in the Cascades this weekend is gonna be very wet, heavy, classic Cascade concrete. But hopefully we can stay on the colder and snowier side as heavy, wet snow is good for building up a base. So we'll see what happens up there. Here's one last look at our snowfall forecast map through December 7th. Thanks so much for watching today. Let's hope things turn out well this week and that the pattern will continue in the future. Heading into next week, it's a little less certain how things are going to shake out as it looks like high pressure is going to build in a bit over the central Rockies with the storm track lifting northward in the Pacific Northwest and BC where we're still going to be fighting those high snow level rain snow line issues but we'll, we'll see how that shakes out. As always, stick with us at Open Snow as we're keeping you updated 
on these patterns every day. Be sure to download the Open Snow app if you haven't already. You can view snow forecasts for any location and elevation in the world. And you can also read coverage from all of our local experts in different ski regions around the world. Thanks so much and have a great week.